this brother is is dedicated and he's a perfectionist um i mean this brother uh he operates in excellence and this brother really he's really passionate about, about what he does let it breathe and let it be What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Knowledge here, uh, also known as Elliot Daniels. I'm the founder and um, owner of Bridging the Gap Movement. And outside of being a, uh, being the owner, I'm also a husband, a father, a man of God, uh, a, a kingdom builder. That's what I am. Knowledge. Oh, that's fast. That's fast. It was big boy knowledge. Man, when I met knowledge, it was like... We was doing prison ministry. And when I did prison ministry, I just heard, you know, like you hear Jesus. Where Jesus is at? You're like, it was DJ. I don't need no other dudes out of the pub. Like, man, man, I think he wrong. So he went to spin. I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I had to go look this guy up. Like, man, who this guy is? So I met knowledge. I don't remember what year it was exactly, but I met Knowledge a few years back and it was at a concert and I remember him doing one mic and that, that performance has always stuck with me uh, because he was rapping that real. And so when I found somebody who not only could spit and because, you know, jokingly, I call him auto legit because he just has that kind of presence. But the first time I heard him rap, because I'm a content first type of person. And so what I did was I heard what he was saying and the flow was, the flow was dope but I'm content first. And so I'm like, yo, he can spit and he actually saying something, you know, it'd be cool to get to know him kind of deal. Cause you never know, you know, you see different people in different engagement, but like, it'd be cool to see, cause you know, I knew he was from, you know, we from the same area, same city. And so that's how I met, that's how I met Knowledge. Man, I looked him up, I got his music and I was like, wow, man, this is like, it, 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 everything he was spitting was Knowledge. And it was like, man, like, wow. And knowledge has a gift to really make things happen. He's a trendsetter, uh, just like me. Uh, this guy uh, is absolutely amazing. Knowledge. Yeah, I met Knowledge back in the day. We was doing the outreach event together, and um, it was a big event, man, and I, I didn't know him, and, you know, just a normal thing, doing Christian ministry work, but he got up there and um, got on the mic, man, did his thing. It was fire. It was fire, by the way. But after that, we um, got together. We kind of connected, and um, that's been years ago, come to think about it, but we've been brothers. We've been brothers ever since, started chopping up in the word, and he went on to build up the company and you know, I'm, you know, that's what it is. You know, and he was like, I called him, he kept communicating, he was like, I had this radio station, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then we kept in contact, he kept giving me events. Then after a while we built a brotherhood and once we built a brotherhood, it was like, man, nothing. It was something special, like, you can't, you can't avoid it. And we just, after that, we just joined forces and we joined forces, it's unstoppable. I want to say I met Knowledge on Facebook, actually, and uh, that's how I met him, but he was already spinning some of my, my Christian hip-hop music and uh, on his uh, radio station, Blood Bart Radio, and man, I love the guy ever since, man, he always showed me love, man, and he never had to do that, but he showed me more love than some people that I would expect to show me love, so shout out to him. Knowledge, okay? I met Knowledge first and I met him in Seattle, Washington at a um, gospel block party. It was really dope. Um, in the summer type celebration and a back to school event that was happening in one of our um, South End neighborhoods. And so I was invited out to perform and um, that's where I met Knowledge. Now Knowledge had flew in, I believe from Florida, to be a performing artist, but he also had his table of merch and everything set up, so I bought a shirt and we just chopped it up. Um, he was really, really impressed with the performance. He thought it was really dope and he liked my music and my vibe. And so God, as God would have it, you know, put it on his heart to be a blessing. And he gathered my information so that I can send him over some songs to play on his radio station. From there, our kinship just 
continued to grow and to blossom. Um, he was very just cool about having my music rotated on his show, having me on as a spotlight, spotlight artist, excuse me, from time to time. And really just, you know, being a really cool, strong brother in the faith, but just having a business and opening the doors and extending, you know, a seat at the table to other independent artists um, for radio play really was the thing that touched my heart the most. And so knowledge, real dope brother. Um, I had known knowledge through his radio show. Uh, we were introduced through a, a business associate. Uh, that we both uh, know and uh, she said hey you know you guys should be introduced to each other you, you know you have a radio show you have music let's you have music and uh, you're both Christian hip-hop let's put it together and uh, we connected ever since I met knowledge first uh, we grew up actually together our parents were in the military together and I met him actually before he went off to prison part of his testimony uh, you guys may have to stay tuned for that one if you I think he already put it out, so there, so go back and listen to his powerful testimony. But um, I met him way, way, way back when, um, when I would go visit my dad for the summers um, down in Sanford, Florida, woo -woo, Central Florida. And uh, so, um, Knowledge and I and his sister and his brother, we would all hang together um, for the summers, and that's kind of how we met. Uh, me and Knowledge, we met right behind the penitentiary walls, and when I tell you, uh, it was some very hard times for us in there. It was some very hard times. Uh, but we, we've also had a lot of really good experiences in there. We were uh, growing in the Lord together, uh, having Bible studies. And we, we saw the Lord do amazing things behind the penitentiary walls. And How did Elliot become knowledge? Not, uh, I think Elliot and knowledge are, are one and the same. I think knowledge is just the 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 platform uh, that Elliot uses to display faith on a public spectrum you know what I'm saying and it's almost like that Saul to Paul situation you know what I'm saying like it's always you know what I'm saying focus always headstrong about what I believed in and whatnot it's just that I was doing it for the wrong reasons and and doing it for the wrong entity the wrong being and whatnot and when i got to a place you know what i'm saying just let's just cut to it you know what i'm saying I, I went to prison you know what i'm saying and this is where where i found that the identity that i was looking for was always in, in the most high but he had to put me in a position sit me down to where i was able to listen and that's what happened you know what i mean like uh, when i was 20 years old i'm i'm, I'm out there running and uh, getting money, chasing money. It was always about money. I always got money, you know what I'm saying? Always hustled and whatnot. Uh, so I knew how to get it. And this particular way I got it, put me in prison for, for five years. And it, and it could have actually sent me away for the rest of my life. I was facing four life sentences when, um, when I got caught. Had a lot of traumatic, um, traumatic things I had to overcome, and um, a lot of traumatic things I had to overcome. Hey, cut that! You said you we need uh, another back to back.